Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric. And after adding Gillies and Lappin the other day, and with Frost and before Wilman being called up, who now has been transitioned back down and replaced by Connor Bunneman, who will be up to play the um, Black Friday game today at 3.30 for the Flyers. But the Phantoms had Master and Mashoud, I believe is how you say him. Um, Wes's name, Wes Mashoud, and then Nick Master. Um... For me, I'm kind of surprised we keep adding veteran guys when some guys in the Reading Royals are doing really well. Um, for example, uh, Patrick Bykoff and even somebody like a, a rookie in Pritchard who's doing well, but he might be a guy um, that you want to let develop a little bit longer where Bykoff has been in the ECHL for a couple years now. But it is what it is. You can never have enough veterans. Um, Master played 10 games with the main Mariners of the ECHL where he had 2-7 and nine this season. Last year, he played for the Knoxville Ice Bears of the SPHL, where he scored 8, 18, and 26 um, in 36 games, while the Mariners season was one of the ECHL games, like the or teams like the Reading Royals, that was canceled last season. Um, and then Master also participated with the Phantoms in training camp, um, also, but of course, obviously did not make the team as they just brought him back. Um, Michaud is 26 as well. Both of these guys are 26-year-olds uh, coming in here as from the forward position to add to the forward depth, which, of course, the Phantoms need due to guys going up and down with the Flyers injuries and due to injuries of their own. Uh, he's in his second season of professional hockey. Earlier this year with Kansas City Mavericks, he scored 4-6 and six for a total of 10 points in nine games while on an AHL contract with the Stockton Heat, and he played 18 games with the Matova Moose last year for the AHL, going 1-1-2 one, one, and two in the point total, and he's a 5'10 uh, lefty there, and um, he's a, both of these guys, obviously, Michaud is only in a second professional season, um, where Master has played a little bit more, both of these guys, it's pretty cool for Master to be with the uh, Lehigh Valley Phantoms, because he is a Brumall PA native out of UMass and played for three years in the Philadelphia Flyers junior program. So it would be cool if he can get some success here, Nick Master, and kind of become a mainstay fan favorite for the Phantoms, just like Brandon Saulnier. Don't play the same type of game, don't get me wrong, but just like Saulnier was able to do when he came in here and is still a fan favorite to this day, uh, maybe he can kind of become that. So like we can have to wait and see for that, but... All in all, he's a good veteran that has played really well at the ECHL level and the SPHL level. Now it's about seeing, given the chance, what he's able to obviously do at the NHL level. And then Michaud, <clears throat> um, he had three consecutive seasons of double-digit goals, including a career best in goals with North Dakota, where he carried the NCHC honorable mentioned all-star team honors and helped the Fighting Hawks to the Penrose Cup. Um, for the NA or NCHC, excuse me, regular season championship, where he scored 45, 45, and 90 in 149 in his four years of NCAA hockey. When Michaud was really good, obviously, in the NCAA, now it's about seeing what he can do um, consistently here at the AHL level after playing with the ECHL Kansas City Mavericks. Both of these guys are getting promoted from the ECHL if they start getting playing time with the Phantoms, so it's about seeing now what they can do at the next level, which is also interesting why the Phantoms didn't just go with guys that they already have at their AA affiliate that are looking really good since both of these guys are getting promoted from the ECHL anyway, but it definitely is always not bad to add more depth to your team, and that is what they do there in Nick Master, who is from the area, so that would be very cool if he succeeds, and a great cool story to follow if he starts having success to become a fan favorite, and Michaud, who seems like a very solid young player, who obviously was great during his time at North Dakota. So this has been the addition of the Ghostly Take on the latest transactions, also another one I should mention is Ryan McKinnon is back with the Phantoms from the Royals, he's kind of been going on a carousel all season, and this has been the Ghostly Take on the transactions by Sports Fat News. I'm Joe Boyer. Please subscribe up above on the Easy to Use widget or down below on the Easy to Use subscribe button. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and stay safe out there and enjoy the, or not the, Memorial day, the Black Friday and Thanksgiving weekend. Peace out, everybody.